are what will eventually be our dedicated freezer once we learn electricity. Connected right to our uh, stove area right here. Our gardens, honestly, we should probably have this closer. We do have someone on hauling, bringing stuff to our stockpile. But our cooks are spending a decent amount of time just walking around getting stuff. It probably wouldn't hurt if we had some area in here where some of our dry goods could go. Oh, dude, we have another gun down here. Where'd that come from? Uh, you're a brawler, right? Not very good at it, but you are a brawler of sorts. Barely heard of shooting. Okay. Oh, nice! We got another alpaca. Great! Okay, so we have two alpaca, we have two muffalo, so that should keep us pretty much in, a, in the money when it comes to tailoring some problems. That's a good point, Dreams. The only reason I'm not doing something like that is because currently I'm using a shared living space and I need to make sure this space not only stays clean, but I also need to make sure it stays free of stuff. Um, which includes, like, piles of meat. Now, I should, while using a shared living space, I should definitely have this stuff closer. Hello, what do we got here? Alright, three people with shields. Well, two of them have shields. We got a plasteel club, plasteel mace, and a steel knife. Okay. So, oh, I didn't even check if they're attacking immediately. Let's see here. They are. Okay, they're attacking immediately. We've got melee people. We luckily have a small defense already set up. So let's see here. We don't have anyone incapable of violence this time, right? We just have three brawlers and three shooters. Alright, so let's see here. You're a shooter, so we can put you in the back. Sylvang's a shooter. Mike doesn't even have a weapon! What?! How bollocks. Um, I don't want to give him that. I want to sell that jade knife. I guess we can give him a machine pistol. I mean, uh, to be fair, he doesn't really... He's not really good at melee or sh But he's got a passion for melee. Oh, I have no doubt about that, Dreams. Um, I am planning on getting them separate rooms later. I've just noticed that in terms of the initial starting of this colony, uh, a shared room is easiest for me to manage everyone. Because, like I said, we're only playing on rough. So, I certainly recognize that I am have no <laughs> idea what I do. We have 100 hours in the game, and I still have no idea what I'm doing for the most part. That's... Now, can this be used as a melee weapon as well? Non-reusable throwing spears. Accuracy touch, 91%. Okay, so it looks like this can also be used as a melee weapon. Or at the very least, it's accurate for a melee weapon. Alright, so melee person, we'll put you in front of the sandbags. Cupcake is backliner. And digital is also front. Once Mike has his weapon, we'll send him up to the front as well. Oh, dude, we don't have our weapons. There are our um, animals. Nah, 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 nah. We don't want to risk our animals. Are you... Oh, no, they're going out. No! Run, alpaca! One! Run! Dude, they're going to kill our alpaca. Oh, no, never mind. They're coming after our sandbag. Um, but uh, with the shared space, if we keep it clean and we keep clutter off the floor, the buff that we get from having a shared living space that's in excellent condition, that's quite beautiful, is outweighing the negative of people having to share a room and having um, keep disturbing each other's sleep. It's not a big thing, and it would be way the hell better to have separate rooms. Which we should probably stockpile some wood, and then we can uh, get to building. Anyway, let's deal with one problem at a time, and right now that problem is raiders. Now, it's only three of them, and they're melee people. Hopefully we won't have too much of a problem here.
two. They're gonna jack our alpaca. We just, we just got that! You bastards! Dude, wait! Is that alpaca wrecking them? Oh, dude, this guy was practically dead when he showed up. How old was he? 76. We barely hurt him. A frail, okay. If we're lucky, the alpaca will just get wounded and then they'll leave it alone. Yeah. Dude, Mike, melee this dude. Come on, man, he's right in front of you. You know, I wonder with enemies standing on top of the sandbags, if that counts as them being in cover. Nice! Excellent! Oh, and they all died, though. So much for new prisoners. Alright, this one's unowned. Let's make this a medical bed. Let's see what we got here. Bruises and cracks. I don't even know if we need to treat that. I have never seen bruises or cracks cause, um, an infection. Now, granted, the people are in terrible pain because of it, but it doesn't seem to be a necessity. So, what we're gonna do now is let's haul these bodies back to the cooler, and then we'll strip them so our stuff is automatically in a storage area. Oh, we gotta rescue our alpaca! Don't worry, alpaca, we got you! Rescue... Oh, I never gave my animals... No, I... We've got all these. What do you mean? Um, do these not count as ours? Not reachable. Whatever. Will not haul. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, it's just outside of your zone. Uh, prioritize hauling, prioritize hauling, and prioritize hauling. We'll not do hauling. Actually, let's have you rescue then, and Mike can haul this dude. Rescue, which in a way is hauling, but not exactly. Who's left over? Who can we... Alright, so let's bring these back as well. All this plasteel maze. Bring this back. And we'll need this knife as well. It's awful, but you know what? It's going to be a little bit of money. So. That's kind of what matters to me right now. Little bit of money. Because other things we have to consider is eventually we do also... And this should be a higher priority than separate rooms for our people. We should get a sterile medical room. Seeing as we started as the cavemen, and our medical supplies are quite limited, um, other than the good medicine that we bought, we're mostly dealing with herbal stuff. And I kind of need every little bit to push us in favor of surviving really shitty situations. Where's that knife? Also, sorry about my voice this morning. I'm, uh, I'm always super congested before I finish my coffee, so coffee cheers. Cupcake is our physician, if I remember correctly. Let's get you some treatment. Um, our animals actually shouldn't require anything in terms of good medicine. Why do we have you using Glitter World? Huh. Alright, all of my people, I only have them using herbal medicine. Unless we get something like an infection... Um, Black Plague. That's what I'm saving the big medicine for. And for our animals, we don't even need to use medicine on them. Except, except, we will use medicine on our dog, because that's bonded. Kitty! Oh, it's a pregnant kitty. Where's our dog? Um, Alright, Muffalo. Muffalo 2. I already got the alpaca. Got both cats. Reef. 
And Reef, we said, already gets that because he's bonded. Oh, the other thing we need to do is we need to get these up. So, let's make Sylvang, after he's done hauling this knife, let's make him ch cut some wood. Sylvang has kind of been our go-to whipping boy when it comes to, We need something done! Do it right now! Nah, 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 nah. Alpaca one and Cupcake have formed a bond. Cupcake has named her Madam. That should keep this cool enough in here. Oh, we gotta strip these bodies and bury them. Alright. Bury. Oh, they're all sleeping. I don't want to upset them. Sorry, Sylvain. We're gonna make you do it again and again. Oh, wait. Koi is out there. Bury and bury. Once we get separate rooms up and everything, we will actually probably reset up our storage area so that food is right around where the stoves are. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Sylvang spend this day cutting wood. And then we're gonna start to work on our new projects. A good hospital. Although we don't have nearly enough silver for a good hospital. What we can manage right now is just a separate temperature controlled space that we can take care of. So. Oh no! No! My kitty! Is that the pregnant one? No. Well, shit, by the time anyone gets there, the cat will be dead. Well, we can try, but I'm pretty certain that's a dead kitty. Yeah. <sighs> that's another reason we need to build walls around our place to keep animals out. Sad day. <laughs> that cat was just like a cat to us. It ignored us. It just wanted food. And it wanted nothing to do with any of us. Alright, let's chop some more. Alpaca 2 just had a heart attack? Excuse me? What the deuce? Wow, that's a dead alpaca. Um... I've never had an animal have a heart attack before. Well, I guess alpaca's on the menu tonight. you actually survive this? I'm not quite sure how you're treating this heart attack without medicine, but... Oh, I see. It's just a chance to treat it. Anyway, well, if the alpaca lives, great. If it doesn't, we'll just have to get another one. 